How's it going, Teal Boys? It is update day, version 10 of the college football revamped mod is here, and we're gonna go through it today. There's some pretty cool changes. Uh, you know, we've got our standard uniforms being changed. We'll go through and look at all of them, of course, uh, in game, but just right off the bat, you got, uh, what is it? Indiana, uh, Michigan State. Oh, those helmets are absolutely beautiful. Uh, we've got new Maryland uniforms. Uh, what else? We've got Arkansas State, Georgia State, and Troy. They finished off the Sun Belt, I believe, or at least have started to work on the Sun Belt. Uh, I don't remember, but uh, Nebraska, Penn State, Purdue, Rutgers, all finished. Fantastic. Um, fixed a couple of other stuff. Added some new RPOs, so we'll try a couple of those out. I think they're supposed to be a little bit more realistic than the ones that they had already added in, so that's incredible. Uh, a couple of other jersey fixes they added rivalry game logos so that's pretty cool and i think the biggest update looking at this is that teams will now be starting in the correct conference by default when you create a new dynasty so you don't have to go in and start off your your new dynasty with you know 20 minutes of conference realignment or however long it would take uh i always thought it was a pain in the butt so super happy that that's a thing now um, so let's just go into the game and take a look at what's been changed. So right off the bat, we let's just go into the play now and we'll just take a look uh, at, at the uniforms that have been updated. There we go. The Red Wolves. Let's see how good are they looking? Ooh, I like the shade of red. Got the Sunbelt logo and everything. Great looking helmets. The alternates with the black helmet and the black pants are beautiful. The all-black alternates are beautiful. Oh, these are just solid. Uh, we've got the home alternate three. Uh, so I guess now I, that's a change, right? Typically, it just says alternate. Now they've made it so it says home alternate. And maybe there's uh, an away alternate as well. A lot of uh, alternates for uh, Arkansas State. There's our away. And yeah, now it shows you uh, away alternates. I think that's a change. Maybe, maybe I'm just really bad at noticing stuff like that but it seems right to me so arkansas state looks pretty fantastic let's continue to stay here and we'll do the Sun Belt teams first uh we've got georgia state next so the panthers beautiful looking blue we start with red we go to blue i like that quite a bit the oa is pretty solid i like that helmet a lot uh georgia state has some pretty solid ones the black alternate and then uh, interesting that these don't have home and away alternates on the names for the presets. So I'm curious if maybe the, I'm glad that I'm right in the, you know, not all the alternates show that, <laughs> but a good look so far. Um, and I like it. Georgia state looking pretty good. Let's finish our Sunbelt teams now with, uh, a Troy, uh, a look at, to see what the Trojans, uh, look like now in the game. This one should be pretty solid. I think I like Troy's uniforms. Um, I don't know. Let's let's see. Right off the bat, pretty solid first look. Uh, I'm a fan. I like the the coloration. Everything's looking solid. The helmets are beautiful. The away looks pretty solid. Ooh, the smoke. I think I like the gradient on the helmet there. Uh, the pants have a unique looking texture to them. That's something else. It's definitely unique. A uh, couple of alternates as well. It's funny uh, how many teams have uh, uh, a, an alternate that looks like this in college football, but very classic look there. Um, interesting looks mixing the smoke in with other stuff. I like this one with the white pants and the red pants. Yeah, it's pretty solid and the, the Cardinal looks pretty good. Um, definitely a fan of that change. So we're done with the Sun Belt. Let's take a look at, uh, some Big Ten teams. The rest of the Big Ten should be completed now. Starting with Indiana, the Hoosiers. Uh, pretty solid look. It's pretty standard home and away. They've got the Bicentennial ones with just the beautiful helmet. That is so fantastic. The rest of the jersey looks nice, clean, and simple. They've got the camo ones as well. Oh my goodness. That's not fair. That legitimately seems like uh, a way to cheat if you are just hiding on the field. You can't, I mean, all I see right now is a helmet and some arms, a couple of calves and some shoes. So that's just uh, 
a leg up on the competition there for Indiana. <laughs> the, the alt one is solid. The alt two is what you would expect. Um, ooh, they have the, the block eye. Very interesting look there in, in just, I guess, the difference uh, there with that, that block eye helmet. I like it quite a bit. But again, solid job. And again, some very unique uniforms being added in, and that's what we love. Maryland is next. We already know some of these are going to be great. Maryland has some beautiful helmets to begin with. These are kind of already in the base game, but they've made them updated to look even better. I like this helmet more than the one that they originally had, that uh, the state pride ones. The uh, the away looks solid. I like the uh, the black jersey. How about the throwback? Ooh, a little, a little saucy there. Don't mind it at all. The alternates are pretty solid as well so definitely uh another good team there and again just staying nice and uh unique with all these uniforms it's so beautiful michigan state's next unfortunately they don't have those nasty like neon green ones that they had <laughs> debuted at some point in the past but they do have uh you know a nice beautiful look the spartan helmet looking great but what I really want to get to is the alternate with the uh, the throwback helmets. There's the just the normal throwback helmets. But I think they had, yeah, the gruff Sparty ones. Those are such fantastic helmets for Michigan State. Um, definitely a fan of that. You could definitely mix that in with a lot of stuff. So, again, beautiful, fantastic job with this team as well. And as we head towards Nebraska here, I gotta say a thank you. We broke 2,000 subs. That's incredible. So welcome everybody who's new. Um, glad to have you here. If you're not, you know, already subscribed, feel free to do that. Nebraska, I can't expect that this is going to be too mind-bending, but maybe they have a cool alternate. It is Nebraska. Okay, the black shirt, you expect that? Pretty cool. I love that uh, the Nebraska logo on the shoulder with like the skull and crossbones. Um, pretty fantastic. The, the helmet's cool as well with the, the black, uh, like, N for Nebraska on it. Just a simple change like that can change up the look of the helmet so much. Uh, and then the memorial tribute's pretty cool. I like that a lot. It kind of kind of looking like an old school helmet with that one. So, you know, even, even a team like Nebraska has some pretty unique stuff going on. Now, this one I don't expect anything. We're going to Penn State. Uh, I can't think in recent memory of a crazy Penn State uniform. Maybe they had one that I didn't know that has been added in home, away, throwback, pretty much the same thing. Yeah, okay. Nothing nothing too surprising with Penn State. Uh, very much a team that just wears classic uniforms. When the, uh, when the home looks almost exactly the same as the throwback, you know that it's a team that has used this style for a long time. Purdue will be next, the Boilermakers. Oh, I love uh, I love the spoiler makers when they're making moves. And how about this? This is such a cool jersey combo. The NASA ones. It's kind of hard to tell some of the details. The helmet has uh, the like moonwalk on the back of it. So very fantastic job there. Uh, again, just like so many cool different uh, like custom options. They've got a throwback in there as well, and the gray ones are great with the, the black helmet. Kind of an interesting jersey. Not my favorite, but definitely unique, and I like uh, the more unique options that we have, the better. Especially if a unique one looks bad, because that way, when we play against the team, I can put them in it and feel better about our uniforms. <laughs> a lot of alternates here. Um, just all around fantastic job on Purdue. And our final uh, team in this update is Rutgers. Curious to see. They've got the home. Obviously looking good. Uh, even, even if they were to just update everything that they had in here and not add in the alternates, it would be fantastic. Um, but as it stands, just looking solid. I like the all black. I'm, I'm always a fan of a nice all black uniform or an all white uniform. So when they have those, it looks pretty solid. You got kind of the throwback, the 2019 versions in here, as well as uh, the ones that... Uh, you know, are being used right now. So again, fantastic job with all of these. The Big Ten is done. The Sun Belt, I think, is done, or at least almost done. 
and the Pac-12 is next, and you gotta believe that I'm excited about that. Uh, anybody on the West Coast that follows Pac-12 football should be, because there's gonna be a lot of crazy stuff. Um, Oregon State should have some cool updates. They've changed their logo tremendously from the, the time that these ones were going, but I'm mostly excited. Most, uh, you know, I'm a bit of a homer, but the, uh, the Ducks, the University of Oregon, I'm curious how much work it's going to take for the mod team to get it done, but uh, I'm excited to see how many different combos the, the I get to play with with uh, my favorite team. And, you know, Huskies should have some interesting ones. I'm curious to see what they put for Washington State. Stanford is going to be what you kind of expect, a little bit more traditional USC, kind of a similar situation. UCLA has some interesting ones. The desert schools in Arizona and Arizona State will be great. Uh, Colorado in this game has some of the weirdest uniforms. I mean, look at this. Uh, where are they? Colorado is a C. So, you know, home pretty standard, away pretty standard, but you have like the throwbacks. Uh, these things are just bizarre. Like, I, I'm curious if they keep this in or if there's another throwback that Colorado has worn relatively recently, but it's so just like not at all what you expect when you think of uh, Colorado. So <laughs> if they have anything like this, that'll be fine. And then Utah will have some interesting ones as well. But again, the Ducks will be uh, uh, a big task for the dev team, but I think it'll be worth it. Uh, you know, all biases aside, I I'm just excited to see what they do. So let's go ahead and take a look at what I think is the one of the biggest parts of this update. Uh, very cool that they've got it done. The already done conference realignment. Everything should be uh, as good as it's going to get. So let's just go ahead and take a look. As we go into start a new dynasty, we can go to the custom conferences and things should be looking good. Um, I'm curious if they have the rules working well. I'm not so sure about uh week one conference games but uh let's look sunbelt looks right the big one that's always needs from the americans never right but that looks pretty solid to me uh how about the big 10 the big 12 10 is fine now because in the past uh you know when you would start this it would be the leaders and legends divisions and you would have to bring rutgers and maryland over um which changed all sorts of stuff so the acc should be fine with the atlantic and the coastal so that is fantastic. We'll just scroll through. So, I mean, it's just a quality of life improvement, really. Like when you start a new dynasty, now you've saved all that time. You don't have to worry about maybe messing something up. So you just get to come in right away. And I, I mean, that's that that's another thing that makes this feel even more like uh, like NCAA 21 because it's up to date. It's, it's not like you're going in and you have to be like, okay, let me find a spreadsheet who's moved where. So again, kudos to the dev team. So I'm excited to see what they've got in the works, uh, what they can cook up next, because every time they come out with an update, you know, we expect the uniform changes, but then they throw something else in there that you don't expect and is just so fantastic. So excited to see what version 11 will bring. I'm glad version 10 is here. Um, and hopefully uh, now we can schedule the rest of the Big Ten teams and can't wait till next season with uh, Coastal where we can maybe start scheduling some Pac-12 teams because... I've been trying to make sure that the out-of-conference games that we play are against teams with uh, updated uniforms just so we can showcase them in-game. But unfortunately, that's going to have to do it for this episode. Uh, wish that we had more stuff to cover, but we're going to, again, have to wait till version 11 drops for that. I got to say thank you guys again for 2,000 subs on the channel. That's actually ridiculous to me. Um, so again, if you're new, welcome. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please hit like. It's the easiest way to really help out the channel. Same thing with subscribing. And uh, if you're wanting to get this uh, update, this version 10, head to the description where you'll find a link to the College Football Revamped mod. There's also links to my Twitch, my Twitter, and our community Discord as well. But that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Goonmaster. You guys are the Teal Boys. Wherever you are, have a good night or have a good morning. And we'll see you later. Adios.